Uh, my name is Lilia and I'm one of the founders of Visusins. And uh, I'm really happy that I can uh, tell you a little bit about it. Uh, we are a family run company and uh, we are four siblings and our parents who are involved in, in, uh, in making this happen. Uh, I am a photographer and a fine artist. Inka, my sister, she is a designer, fine artist and video artist. Uh, Rosa, my sister, she is kind of the artisan that blends the oils. And then Jonsi, my brother, he is, uh, of course, a musician and uh, mostly known for being in Sigurus. And our, our nose, a perfume maker. And then our uh, father, he is kind of like uh, an old school carpenter that makes all of our crazy ideas come alive. Uh, we are now standing in our store in Fishersons. Um, and it's kind of like it's uh, it's a gallery, a store, and and uh, all our, all around experience uh, space. And as you can see, uh, we have nature on the wall, <laughs> so we have framed uh, Icelandic moss and heather. We use uh, Icelandic essential oils and medicinal herbs in all of our products. So. And in honor of that, uh, we try to be uh, as respectful as we can and we limit packaging. So for example, we have um, a deodorant that is just like paper that you can throw in the trash. And we have shampoo bars and, and all of these <clears throat> items where there is no plastic. And um, just, the Icelandic scent world is really unique. It has uh, a special aura around it. And uh, under the wall, we have our uh, perfume organ. This is the desk where you see creates the scents. And uh, uh, the idea is that like, uh, there is a connection between creating music and creating perfumes. Uh, because both of these senses are kind of abstract and they have, have like a direct connection with our emotions and memories. So, uh, and we thought it was really fascinated, fascinating when we started working in perfumery was that uh, in perfumes, perfume making, you have uh, notes, like musical notes, that are like high notes like citrus and pine, and then you have bass notes like leather and sandalwood. So you can really create a symphony with yeah. scents because the sense of smell, it's our oldest sense and it's directly connected with our memories and emotions. So you can really evoke different feelings with scents. So I wanna take you with me in a little scented journey. Uh, I'm gonna show you one project that we did uh, with the outdoor company called 66 Degrees North. And uh, we made a perfume together that's called Utilicht, which means the set of the outdoors. And, uh, and it's inspired by, you know, being in, in Iceland and, uh, uh, and all the amazing memories we have from, uh, enjoying our time in, in, in nature. And uh, so I want to read to you. So close your eyes. Utelet. Mm. Headwind in every direction. Drifting snow creeping under coat collars. Snow beads and woolly mittens. Berry colored tongue and head resting on a pillow of moss. Lawn mower in a distant garden. An undressed Christmas tree blowing down the sidewalk in the sea breeze. Frosted windows, weather forecasts, and the car heater on full blast. <laughs> so these are our, our memories and uh, like a. <clears throat> 
and set experiences of being outside in Iceland and, and uh, working. And uh, talking about storytelling, um, I want to show you another set uh, that uh, Jungsi created inspired by our childhood memories of growing up in Mosulsvet. And Mosulsvet is a small town outside of Reykjavik. And our father, he built our house there and uh, we lived by the mountains and, and uh, yeah, it was uh, a really good, uh, good memory. And um, so we're going to go back to our teenage years in Mosesweit. Close your eyes. Brand new sneakers crossing fresh flower stalks against hot asphalt. Mouthful of lemon candy and fingers sticky with motor oil. Stolen rhubarb from a neighbor's garden. Peeled, slathered in honey and chewed Orange cake crumble in the pocket of freshly washed clothes. Arctic wind blowing through hair in a damp pine forest. Oh yeah, so <laughs> as kids, we used to steal rhubarb from, because it, it was basically growing in, in, in every garden and uh, get like a, a bottle of sugar and, and chew on it as candy. And our grandmother, she used to bring home like uh, 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 always like pancakes and or orange cake. And the pancakes, we finished them really quickly. But uh, there was always a lot of leftovers of the orange cake. So that was kind of our go to uh, when we were going out on our bikes with our friends. So, yeah. A lot of, yeah, and then like sticky fingers, you remember when the chain went, fell off the bike and, and you had to put it up again, like, a, mm, so nice. Um, yeah, but like, maybe I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, what inspire, spi inspires us, uh, because I would say, I mean, music has a lot of say in, in, in that, because, uh, my brother's a musician and my boyfriend is a musician and, and Inka's boy, uh, boyfriend is also a musician. So we are involved in music every day. And uh, then uh, we are also really inspired by the fine arts community here in Iceland and uh, the writer's community. Uh, but most, uh, first and foremost, we're really uh, just like inspired by uh, each other. And uh, so when each of us is, you know, passionate about something or obsessing about something, uh, we always tell each other about it. And, and uh, <clears throat> that's really great, uh, the great part of being in a family business, because uh, we, are, we, are, we talk like every day and we're always together and, uh, and we share the same aesthetics and the same values. So uh yeah it's like the perfect team <laughs> but yeah it was really nice to have you here with me in and i hope you can join me here in the store one day in iceland <laughs> now that things are getting brighter and better every day and yes until then i'm gonna send you off with some nice scents see you soon